Hello guys, welcome back to Beat Sweets Farm. Today is day seven of these quail eggs being in the incubator. So what I am doing today, just because I'm curious, is I'm removing, I'm gonna do it one row by one row at a time. I'm removing the quail eggs and carefully putting them in this little basket with a towel, clean towel. As I'm removing them, I am smelling each egg to make sure none of them smell rotten. And I'm going to go into a dark closet and I'm going to candle them using the flashlight on my phone. And I'm going to do that every row. But as I'm doing it, I'm also going to not put the eggs back in the same spot. I'm going to move them around to the opposite so that they've had a chance to um, be moved around the incubator and not be in the same spot because of cold spots and hot spots and what I talked about earlier before I put the eggs in. So I'm going to candle some and I'm going to see if I can catch some movement on video or the development of growth into the video. And I'll show you guys on the camera if I'm able to capture that with the flashlight. So quail eggs are super hard to candle because they have all these spots on the surfaces, like the brown spots. But I'm showing you this one for example, it doesn't have too many spots so it's easy to clearly see through it. And there is nothing in this egg. If there was any development, you would see like a dark little spot or veins or something. And this one's just like completely clear. You can see the yolk in the middle. That's the little shadow. But there's no um, development in there. So I'm going to keep looking and see if I can find one where you can clearly see it. But that's an example of one that's not, uh, probably wasn't fertilized or something. So I'll get rid of that egg and not put it back in the incubator. having a hard time catching it on video but this one you can see it's more solid inside and I see the veins it's like blood vessels I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get it on this camera here's another one that doesn't have anything inside of it for some reason the camera's catching these but not the ones that have something growing inside but here where you don't see the brown spots um, it's like a glowy green because of the flashlight behind it, but there is no veins, no lines, nothing in there. It's just green all the way through, so that one doesn't have anything. Here's another one that I believe has something in it. I can't see the veins, it's a little bit darker, but you can see that most of the egg is solid and there's only a little air space at the end. And it doesn't smell bad, so I don't think it's rotten. I think there's something in there. You can easily tell the difference between when there's something going on in there and there's not. So I'm going to say yes with this one. Here's a good example of one that started developing, but I guess it ended up dying. Um, this is actually the color of the veins. Um, that I saw in that other egg I showed you that you couldn't really tell on camera but you'll see veins this color so it's a red blood vessel not veins blood vessels but this is an example of one that looks like it died in the process because it's just one random little vessel and then when you kind of shake the egg it just moves around like that it's floating that means that something went wrong with this one and it died so that's going to be one that's going to get separated I'm going to keep checking them. Here's one I'm not sure of, but I'm going to keep in the incubator just in case. Because it doesn't smell bad and I see something up here where my finger is. I see like little blood vessels and a little dark spot. But then the rest of the egg, I can't really tell. It looks kind of see-through. But there is something going on right here by this little brown spot so I'm gonna keep that one just in case here's a good one where you can see the veins clearly I was talking about so there's definitely life in that one 
I'm going to keep that one for sure. And you can clearly see the little vessels running around through it. So there's something growing in there. This is another example of one that looks like it's maybe started developing, but it died. And it has like what they call the ring of death. I can't see it on here. But if you see a red vessel going all around the diameter of the egg, um, that means that the development has stopped and it died. I can't, oh, I almost saw it. I can't see it on here. So I put all my eggs back that I wasn't sure that they were completely empty. And the ones that I for sure saw little veins and blood vessels in. So I ended up removing eight eggs because they were completely clear and one of the eggs was cracked so I had to get rid of that one. So I will cover this back up, get it back up to temperature. Um, I might do another candling video. If not then we'll just skip straight to hatching day which is what? 7, 8, 9, 10, maybe another 10 or 11 days is hatching day since quail eggs incubate for 18 days and we're on day 7. So I will see you guys later on.